Okay, so in this video, we're gonna use calculus to find the volume of a sphere. And right off the bat, I want you to hit pause and I want you to think about what the volume of a sphere is. So you should be able to memorize that, hit pause, come back. Volume of sphere, 4 thirds pi r cubed. Okay, how are we gonna get there? Well, what we're gonna do is we're going to take a cross section so the cross section of a sphere is a circle and we're going to cut that in half. So we're only going to consider the upper half. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create little disks So there's a disk there. And the disk has a radius equal to x. And we have a formula here. We're going to call this y. And that's x. And by Pythagorean theorem, you know that um, x squared plus y squared equals radius squared. So that's a, you should know that. That's r right there. So I can write x, well I can rewrite this as x squared equals r squared minus y squared. So Okay, back to my disk. And later on I'm gonna do a whole disk method thing, but this is sort of a preview to disk method. Okay, I've got a little disk here that I've sort of, I've taken this disk and I've just sort of written it a little bit nicer. And it's got a radius of x, and so the area of that top of the disk is gonna be pi r squared, and in this case, r isn't the radius of the, of the sphere, r, r is actually x, which is the radius of that disk. So I've got a little disk moving up and down in that hemisphere. And it's got an area of pi x squared, and it's got a width, the sort of the thickness of my coin is dy. And so all I have to do is, um, th as, well, there's, my, there's the area of that disk. Now if I want to find the area of all of the disks, so there's a disk, there's another disk, there's another disk. Stacking all these little disks on top of each other, well that's what we're talking about from integration. So I'm going to integrate from 0 to r of pi x squared dy. Now I've got a few different things happening in here and we're going to have to sort of clean it up. Okay, so I want to go from 0 up until y equals r. So let's add a little bit of notation in here. I want to start at y equals 0, and I want to go up to y equals r. That's what those limits are. And the radius of my disk, and so there's the volume of that disk, pi x squared times dy, times that little bit dy, and then I can replace my x squared with this up here. So I can rewrite it as integral from 0 to r pi r squared minus y squared dy. Okay, so then I integrate that 
in this case, r is just a constant. So r is a constant. So let's just think about it as 2 or 3. All I'm focusing on the y's. So if I had, um, if I over here, if I had the integral of 5 minus y squared dy, that would be 5y minus 1 third y cubed plus c. So over here, I'm going to get the integral, well, I'm going to take the integral so I don't need the integral sign anymore. I'm going to get pi r squared y. So if that's my 5, the integral of 5 is 5y minus 1 third y cubed, that's the same, plus c, evaluated at 0 and r. And so I plug in r and I get pi r squared r minus 1 third r cubed plus c minus 0 plus c. The c's are going to cancel out and so I've got um, oh, I forgot to distribute that pi. So there's the quick and dirty way to, to uh, distribute that pi. So I've got pi r cubed minus pi thirds r cubed. So that's going to be 2 thirds pi r cubed. But wait a second, we said that the that the sphere was 4 thirds pi r cubed. Ah, but remember, we started at 0 and went to r instead of going from negative r to positive r. So we only did for half of the sphere. So that's a hemisphere. And the whole sphere is going to be 4 thirds pi r cubed, as you know. Okay, that's that video, and then uh, we'll come back with the similar ones.